Picturing electricity generation, part two, the only generation rule and different kinds of power plants. In part one, we talked about this load curve and we described what this load curve was about. Now let's get into how you would actually plan power plants to meet that load. And there's only one rule you really care about, and that's generation must always equal load. So load, that's all the ways we use electricity. And generation, that's all the ways we make electricity. So we make electricity with our coal-fired power plants or natural gas or solar and wind. And they must always pretty much precisely equal each other. If you get a little too far off this way, the lights go out. If you get a little too far off this way, the lights go out. So here's our load. Let's look at a single day, a slice through this data. So here's July 6th. It's a hot summer day. Our peak of usage is at 5 p.m. and our minimum looks like it's about at 4 a.m. In the past, you used to use base load power plants to fill in just below the minimum of the load. But you have to meet the load every hour of the day. And the way you do that is with a different kind of power plant. The way to think about a baseload power plant is like an aircraft carrier. It's a gigantic machine. It's not made to slow down. If you slow it down, it gets less efficient and burns more coal for every kilowatt hour that's produced, and it gets dirtier. It makes more pollution for every kilowatt hour that's produced. And additionally, that great big cost isn't spread out the way it needs to be. But to meet the load, you've got to have something that's nimble and quick, and that's what you use natural gas peaking power plants for. Well, this works great for power plants you can turn on and off, but you can't turn on and off the wind or solar. So you have to think differently. Instead of working from the base up, you have to work from the load down when you're talking about significant amounts of renewables. So this is that same picture showing in green wind and yellow solar and in blue hydro. And this is for a mix of about 50% renewables. So let's look at a particular hour. Let's look at, say, 2 p.m. From where the load is, we take away the wind that's actually running. And this is based on actual wind data and actual solar data. We take away the solar. We take away the hydro. And what's left is in beige. And that's what we have to make up with natural gas power plants. There's really no place for a power plant that isn't nimble in this picture. So looking at a year, we have our minimum, below our minimum, shown at 100 megawatts, and that's where we would put in our baseload coal and nuclear. And for the rest of the year, for all those peaks and valleys, that's where we'd put in our natural gas nimble power plants. So let's review. There's one rule, which is generation must always equal load, and there are a number of different types of generators. Traditionally, we work from the base up with a baseload power plant and with a peaking power plant. If you introduce lots of renewables into the system, you can't work from the base up. You have to work from load down, taking away the actual renewables that are generating at that point in time and making up the rest with nimble power plants that you can turn on like natural gas. Thank you.